Hi guys! So on this trip, we're staying at the lovely Ramada Udaipur Resort and Spa, which is spread over 6.6 .6 acres of land and has 72 rooms. So are you guys ready for the tour? Follow me. So this is the lobby area, you've got like nice seating area here and you've got a seating area outside as well which I will show you. But they also have a little souvenir shop in the lobby. So this is the outdoor seating area attached to the lobby as well. So they also have a bar where they have actual cocktail and mocktail making sessions as well. So if you want to learn, you must come here. They also have a cute little kids zone if you're traveling with kids. They have a tiny little carom set there which is really cute. Let's check out the next spot. So this is my favorite part of the hotel. You've got this massive pool. There's a separate kids pool, a waterfall. And when you stand here, you can actually see how beautifully the hotel has been built on different levels. The rooms are up there and you've got these huge stairways on either side and it's absolutely beautiful. I believe the hotel has won an award for the best wedding hotel two years in a row. So if you're looking for a destination a wedding location, this one's pretty good. So they also have three lovely gardens on the property. This one is Trego, they have Bonsoir and the salad garden as well. Now these are great for high tea or for smaller parties or wedding functions. I actually love coming here and having my coffee. So they also have a rock garden this way. Let's take a look. So you've got a great view of the city from here. You can actually see the monsoon palace right up there. And we're here. So it's a beautiful lawn. You've got a lovely fountain here. This is great for like, it's a nice venue for parties, weddings, things like that. Now let's check out the spa. So they also have a lovely temperature control pool right outside the spa and the jacuzzi. So the spa also houses the fitness center and the salon. Let's take a quick look. So this is the salon. And opposite we have the fitness center. So they have a fully functional fitness center with a view. Now you can actually see the Monsoon Palace or Sajjangar Palace as it's known as right from here which is amazing. So you could be on the treadmill and check out the view. Now let's check out the therapy rooms. So this is one of their therapy rooms. I think this is the couple's room. Myra, which is their restaurant, which is open for breakfast, lunch and dinner. I believe they're setting up for breakfast right now. They also have a beautiful terrace right here from where you get a lovely view of the city. Let's check it out. So you can pretty much stand here and take a look at it there, bro. So they also have a beautiful rooftop terrace that offers great views of the city. Just look at that. You can actually see the city palace there, Lake Pichola, the Fateh Sagar Lake. So an incredible view over there, Pur. Now let's check out the room. So the first category you're going to see is the super deluxe room. So it's a nice spacious room, twin sharing. You've got all your amenities here. You've got uh, some snacks, you have a nice big mini bar here. There's a desk, a TV, some fresh fruits. And there's a lovely balcony with a sit-out area here. So you can see the beautiful rock garden from here. Now let's check out the loo. So again, a nice big toilet. You've got a, a beautiful rain shower here, the toilet here, the sink here. And they have this cute little dressing table like set up here. Let's check out the closet. So a nice big closet with a safe ironing board and a weighing scale, I don't want to check the weight. <laughs> so the current room rate for this room is Rs 9,500 per night, which I think is great for a room this size with the balcony and it's really, really spacious. 
Up next, we have a premium room. Now, this has a lovely sit-out area outside here. And then we have the room. So again, it's a really spacious room. You've got a couch here, you've got some fresh fruits and cookies. We have a nice big double bed, um, a TV, your kettle for your tea and coffee. Lots of windows and natural light, a desk. And this looks like the mini bar. Yes. And we also have some snacks. And this is the dressing room, which is really spacious again. So you've got lots of drawers here. You have a huge closet with the safe again. And this is the loo. Wow, look at that. So this one has a tub and a rain shower. You've got your toilet there and your sink here. So again, very, very spacious. So the room rate for this one is 13,500 per night. Now let's check out the next room. The last category I'm gonna show you is the suite, which is the best room. Starts with a sit out outside. So first up, we've got nice couches here. You've got some delicious looking fruits and you have a TV set up here. And this is the bedroom. So again, a nice big cozy double bed, another TV here. And we have the mini bar here with some snacks. And then you have your tea coffee here. And again, a really large dressing room, which you don't usually see in a lot of hotels. A big closet with a safe. And this is the room. Wow, this is really big. So you've got a rain shower area here. You've got the tub, the toilet, a sink, and we have a separate dressing table right here. So a really, really big bathroom. So the room rate for this lovely room is 19,500 per night. Of course, all the rates that we've mentioned today vary seasonally and don't include taxes. So check with the hotels for the current rates. But I think their rates are fabulous considering the room sizes and the amenities they offer. So the hotel also has a lot of indoor games and activities. They have a foosball table, they have a table tennis table right here, they have carom. They also have folk dance every evening and cooking classes and archery, which is what we're going to do now. Now it's time to head for some archery. So, this hand here. Just move the heels. Okay. Then the hair will be fixed here. Mm -hmm. Keep on the hair, do things. And we pull it. This hand we should be straight. Straight. One leg is here. One Back. leg forward. forward. And one hand, uh, finger, straight on here. Okay. Because you are not common this side. Okay. Sides. And that hand is going to up here. Yeah. Then pull up. Wow. And then. <laughs> Wow, it's not as easy as it looks. And then leave. <laughs> I didn't even make it to the board. As far as you can, okay. It's time for try number two. Yeah, hit the board at least. <laughs> Thank you. Now we're going to show you the helipad. Yes, they have their own private helipad. So this is their very own private helipad. So yeah, if you want to land here in style, that's possible. So we are here for our private dining experience and our first course is here. So for our starters, we've got some paneer and dahi ke shole. We've got some Rajasthani dungar boti and some fish. Let's taste. So I'm going to start with the fish. So it's just like a lightly marinated tandoori fish, which is really delicious. And we have the dungar boti, which is a Rajasthani signature dish. Mm. Mutton is so soft, delicious. You've got lots of spices in that, but it's not spicy. It's really, really tasty. And last but not the least, we have the paneer and daike sholi. I've never tried this before. kind of got a breaded outer coating and it's stuffed with paneer, some capsicum, really tasty. So we've got some tomato cappuccino soup in a cooler, which is really interesting. It's 
try some of that. Mm. So it's sweetish, but it's got like this really frothy um, top, like a cappuccino. Really, really delicious. Now for my main course, I've got something very interesting. I've got a fusion of two really, really signature Rajasthani dishes, which is the lal mas and the dal bati. So you've got a base of bati and you've got the lal mas on the top. It looks really good and I can't wait to try this. First try this. Mm. The meat is really well cooked again, just falls off the bone. Not spicy, it's just got amazing flavors. It's really interesting to have these two together. I've never had them together. And um, yeah, it's just delicious. So for dessert, we have some gajar and orange kahalwa, which looks really yummy. Which is really good. I'm not normally a gajar kahalwa fan, but this is really delicious. Mmm, this is yummy. It tastes like a jalebi. So good. So that was the lovely hotel. If you're visiting Udaipur, make sure you stay here because it's a beautiful property and the rooms are really well priced. See you guys. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you guys. Bye.